Welcome back, this is Yamajack, and today we got Gunslinger Edge of Reality Suicidal, and today... It's cold. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's just cold. It's just, it's just cold, dude. I, uh, last night, it wasn't that cold. And then today, all of a sudden, it was very cold. So you, my, my voice might sound a little bit... My voice might sound a little bit funky. Um... Because uh, I, I, I might be a little bit um, stuffy or whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, so what happened was last night it was like, I wouldn't say warm necessarily, but it wasn't like cold, you know? Like it was, I'm sleeping naked with a light blanket and I'm going to be comfortable, you know? And then I wake up, I don't use a heater in my room, um, so, uh, you know, at night when my computer's down and, um, there isn't really any heat in my room, and I'm, like, forever away from the nearest heater in the house, and, uh, the insulation here isn't that good, like, my bedroom gets pretty much to ambient temperature, um, pretty, pretty darn close to it anyway. You know, after six, seven, eight, nine hours of no heat. <laughs> coming into the room just cold um it uh it, g it gets cold in here very 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 cold um so when i woke up this morning you know last night going to bed when it was reasonably warm and then well not warm but comfortable you know and then this morning waking up negative two i'm naked no heat light blanket i'm like freezing just terribly freezing it was uh horrible way to wake up and the worst part is is when you wake up and you're cold like that it's so hard to motivate yourself to get out of bed it's the right thing to do like that's how you warm up right like that's how you you warm up afterwards right like you get out of bed you turn on the heat you put on some some warm clothes you you know make some food or, or whatever right like you uh you have to get out of bed, but it's so hard to do that because it's just so cold. You don't want to, like, move or anything, you know? Like, it's it's terribly, terribly, terribly uncomfortable. And, um, it's really, really hard to, to actually motivate yourself to do that. Um, like, when it's hot and you're uncomfortably hot, you know, you wake up and you're just like, get all this off me. When it's cold, you just, like, try and, like, shrivel up and like pull more blanket on top of you just to like do whatever you can to, to stay warm you know just in the in the in those moments of being awake um so i just ended up like lying there suffering for like i don't know 10 15 minutes before i was finally able to motivate myself to actually like, get out of bed and do something about it and my god it was cold still quite cold in here um it's getting a little bit warmer now like it's It is currently only, it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon, it's currently a nice warm negative one outside with a, a sprinkling of snow. So it's still quite cold. Um, my bedroom is, feels probably like about 3 or 4 degrees right now, I would say. I'm not quite ambient. I do have my computer running, I have some screens on. Um, you know, there is, uh, there is some degree of heat generation in this room, there's some degree of insulation, there's, you know, some degree of all the stuff, but, uh, yeah, like, my room is pretty well separated from the rest of the house, um, and, uh, you know, when I'm not doing anything in here, there isn't really anything that's, like, creating heat in here, so it, it, it gets pretty close to ambient pretty quick. Um, it's, 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 it's actually, like, remarkable how, how well it does it, uh, cause, like, in the summertime, I'll, like, enter my room, and it's just, like, sweating. As soon as you cross the threshold of the door, it's just, like, immediately sweating, and right now, as soon as you cross that threshold, you, you go into, to cold weather, it's, like, it's, like, it's almost like you're just stepping outside the front door, like, it's, it's that kind of, just immediate like gust of, of of temperature differential 
It's remarkable. Um, and uncomfortable. Um, but, you know, it is, uh, it's fine. It's not, like, that big a deal, right? Like, it's, it's fine. I'll live. Um, but yeah, it's just, uh, <laughs> it's, it's not fun when you, when you plan on having, like, a nice, comfortable night, and then the world is just like, <laughs> how about no? And you wake up, and, like, it's just freezing. So, it's, 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 a. Uh, it's a wake-up call. It's it's time to, to get onto the the double blanket. So I have um, I had my heavy blanket on last night, but it's like a it's a light blanket. My heavy blanket is a light blanket. I just have two like light blankets that I combine in uh, in rough weather to um to provide me with the warmth that I need to uh, to survive. Um. So. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I do. So right now I'm just kind of like, yep, it's it's time definitely to uh, to get the other blanket out and and uh, start having both of them on me as I'm sleeping because it's just it's too cold. It's too cold. It is too gosh darned cold. The other one is just a throw. My uh, my like secondary blanket is just a throw. So it's it's not like big enough to be super duper comfortable. Um, I'd like a larger one, but it, uh, it does the job. It does the job. It doesn't have to cover up, like, all of me, you know? As long as it covers up, like, my feet, my, uh, you know, legs, torso-ish kind of area. You know, if it, if it ends up cutting off my shoulders and, um, my neck or whatever, that's fine. Because, um... You know, the, the larger blanket is going to cover that up and provide some insulation to keep all of that heat inside. And then um, the other blanket is going to really help to trap in a lot of that uh, that heat from the uh, the bulk of my body. So it, ultimately, it still ends up being much warmer, even though it doesn't cover up my whole body. But it would be nice to have a larger blanket just to have a easier time. It wouldn't really be warmer if I had a, a larger blanket of the same, you know, material and thickness and whatnot. It would just be easier because right now it's like I have to get my larger blanket on and then like pull up the the throw and like align it so it's offset so that once I roll it like pulls it over properly like it's it's a it's it's a it's a process for sure there's uh there's there's a few steps to, to getting it to work but you know you get used to it right and it's fine does the job admirably what else what else can you ask for right so anyway, oh, actually, I had uh, I ordered some sushi today, cause uh, <laughs> it was too cold. I didn't want to make any lunch, dude. So I just ordered sushi, and I finally, finally ordered sushi from Sushi again, and remembered to take a picture of the um, the drawing that they do. So I got the uh, one piece of tuna belly, um, nigiri, uh, some sockeye. What's it called? It's just the, like, rice, seaweed, and fish. And then uh, a rainbow roll as well. And they, they draw this whole thing on it. It's really cute. Um, I actually didn't get any cucumber roll today, believe it or not. I, I just didn't get it. I don't know. I, I, I didn't feel like it. Remarkable. I know. It's, it's, it's like, my favorite roll. But, um... Had to get the tuna belly. You can't, you can't really order sushi and not get tuna belly in, in any form, you know? It's it's like a must have as far as I'm concerned. If I'm getting uh, if I'm getting sushi, I'm getting tuna belly in some form. You know, if it's uh, nigiri, if it's sashimi, if it's uh, negitoro roll, if it's you know, uh, so, yeah, you know, any kind of thing. You gotta you gotta have some tuna belly. You gotta have that fatty, delightful tuna belly. It's just it's necessary. Anyway, anyway, I ordered that. That was what I had for lunch and dinner really because I'm just gonna be going to bed and then I'm not gonna have time to make anything else later tonight I might have uh, some we have we have some soup in the fridge in my fridge downstairs that I will uh, heat up later after I mean, I'm gonna be going to bed it's like 3 15 I'm probably gonna be doing shorter episodes today because I'm cold and tired dude um, so uh, I don't know though I'm undecided on, on whether I'm doing shorter episodes today I'll decide after I finish this anyway um. Donka donka. Uh, 
Uh, anyway, so, uh, you know, I, I, I'm, it's going to be going to bed probably around 4 o'clock-ish or whatever. Yeah, I'm going to wake up at, like, 11, maybe midnight, even. It's not really a time that I get to go upstairs and, you know, start to, to chop up some peppers and make a stir fry or whatever. You know, like, I don't really get to do that at midnight because people are sleeping, you know? You gotta be respectful, so I uh, I may I may just have some some leftover soup if anything, or leftovers or whatever they end up making. But probably soup. We got like this big thing of soup left in the fridge, so it's got to get eaten up. Otherwise, it's gonna get thrown out. And throwing out food is one of my biggest pet peeves. It's just. Uh, there, there, there's like two things that are wrong with throwing out food, right? For, for, for me. There's like the financial sort of like impact that it has because it's just like money, right? Like the soup that's there is probably worth, I don't know, like what's left just in material costs. This is probably like $20, $30 worth of like meat and like pasta and pasta is not really expensive, but um, veggies and you know, all this kind of stuff, you know, like, there's probably, like, 20, 30 bucks left of, of stuff still, you know, if you don't eat it, then that's 20, 30 bucks that's just thrown out, right, like, eat it, <laughs> you like, uh, we're gonna be doing, a uh, full episodes, I suppose, because I don't want to give up on this topic, but, like, so many people end up throwing out so much food, and then still, like, my parents especially, they end up throwing out so much food, and then they, they complain about, like, finances and stuff, I'm like, if you just look at the amount of food you're throwing out, like, just think about it, you know, like, that's twenty, thirty dollars right there. The food, you know, sure, it's not like money you can go spend on food to eat or something, but it is literally food you can eat. Like, that's twenty, thirty dollars. If you throw it out, you have to go spend twenty, thirty dollars on more food. And that's like a cheap dinner, too, you know what I mean? Like, that's twenty, thirty dollars worth of soup when you can feed, like, at least three or four people with what we've got left, you know, like, it's it's not a very expensive... It's, it's an expensive soup. It's not an expensive meal. Um, so throwing out, like, f uh, food just is, like, a really big pet peeve just because of that reason. But then there's the other, like, reason for it, um, which is, like, it's animals, dude. You know, like, like the, there's there's chicken and pigs and cows in there, you know, like, they, they were lived, they lived and were farmed and were, like, brutally murdered just so that we could eat, and, like, you know, it sucks, at, at least, you know, at least eat it, okay, <laughs> like, I don't, I don't, I, I'm, I'm partial to vegetarianism, personally, um, but, Mostly for the uh, the pollution and the land side, like uh, the amount of land it takes up. I'm not super into the whole like I, mean, I don't you know if if you're super anti you know animal cruelty and the farming and stuff like that, like more power to you, you know respect. I uh, I don't really care that much, but like throwing out meat that's just perfectly fine and good to eat just because like you know like like buying you know thirty dollars worth of meat and then eating ten dollars worth of it and throwing out the rest. I'm just like. You just threw out, like, over the course of your life, how many full, live pigs didn't have to die because, like, you just ate the food instead of, like, throwing it out. Like, like it's, it just, it really pisses me off. Something it really, really does. Because you're, you're just wasting money, and then, like, an actual animal died so that you could make that soup, and you're not going to eat it. Like, at least eat it. You know, like... Come on, at least you know have the have the decency to do that. You know, like I'm not I'm not gonna get on you about like don't eat any animal stuff, but like if you buy animal products and you cook it, just just like at, at least do the bare minimum and actually eat it. Like throwing it out just feels like such a. I, I don't think it's a defensible action personally. You know, like sometimes it happens, right? Sometimes you accidentally buy too much, or or you'll uh, you'll have like a party and um, you know a bunch of people won't show up, and you have like a whole bunch of leftovers. And you're like, what the heck do we do with this? I don't really know. 
you know, like sometimes, you know, stuff, accidents can happen, okay? You know? Like, it, it can happen. But, you know, like just the other day, I, I bought a, a pork shoulder and I ended up throwing out like half of it just because, like, it, it was bad before I expected it to. It just, accidents happen. You know, sometimes you can't help it. You know, sometimes you just, you have to throw it out because, like, you just physically couldn't eat it and you expected to be able to and, you know, just accidents happen, okay? Sometimes it happens, okay? But, like, just, if you, if you buy animal products, use them, at the very least. It just, it, it, yeah, so that's, that's why, like, um, throwing out food just really annoys me. Like, if it's, like, a veggie soup or something like that, and you're throwing it out, I'm not, like, gonna get that worked up about it. I'm still gonna get mad, because, like, it's still money, okay? That's still just, like, money you could be saving by just eating that instead of buying other food. Um... You know, like, come on, let's let's get real here. Uh, but I'm not gonna get like you know too, you know, higher than that about it. But when it's like, cause we just have like this big, big giant bowl of uh, of like chopped up meats, like pork and beef and uh, and chicken, just this big old bowl of it, just sitting there. We have uh, some like sausage and uh, there's like meats in the soup as well. Um, like it's it's a very heavy meat centric dish because it's it's a, it's a, it's a I mean, it's a traditional Portuguese uh, soup and uh, Portuguese people tend to like their their meats and their uh, their wines and uh, pepper. Um, <clears throat> so there's a lot of meat in it, you know, a lot. There's enough meat there to feed a family of like four for like two or three days, you know, and it's just gonna end up getting thrown out. I'm just like, that's just so offensive. I don't think it's defensible, is the point I was saying. I don't think if that meat gets thrown out, I don't think you get to say, like, oh, well, you know, it just, it didn't work out. No, I don't, I don't think you get to do that. You know, like, I don't I don't think that, uh, that that's something you're going to get to do. So I'm going to make sure I eat it, because um, uh, otherwise I'm, I'm a hypocrite. But, um, like, it just... I don't think you get to defend that action. I don't. I don't think like you get to be like, oh well, it's just you know they're they're gonna die anyway. Like I don't think you get to do that if you're throwing it out. You know, like if you're eating it, that's fine. You know, I'm not gonna push everybody to be vegetarian. I think most people should. I really think we should like reduce the amount of meat we're eating. I, I'll definitely go to go to town about that one. But just like throwing out meat, it just like. How much, how much do you hate the animals to just throw them in the garbage? Like, it's just... That one just seems offensive to me. So that's why, that's why it gets really on my nerves when, uh, when food gets thrown out. Because there's, like, the, like, ethical aspect of it, of, like, throwing out the animal parts that you just bought and then just didn't even, like, use. You just paid for an animal to be killed just so you could throw it in the garbage. Like, that's pretty brutal. Um, <laughs> can't really get behind that one. Um, and then you're also just wasting your money, and I'm like, it's just stupid, dude. Too much food gets thrown in the garbage. And it's not even like, you know, there are starving kids in Africa who would, who would love to be able to eat anything. It's just like, can we just, like, not be stupid about it? Like, just, just buy however much food you're gonna eat, and then make that much food. Like, don't, don't make food you're not gonna eat. Like, it's, it's not about, like, starving kids, it's, it's just like... You know, this this is something you should be taught in like eighth grade. You know, <laughs> like it's it's not a complicated topic. Excess is is never the answer to to uh, to life's problems. Well, sometimes it is, I suppose. Um, but you know, it's not like maybe making a bunch of extra food isn't isn't going to make your, your your any happier. It's just going to waste your money. So just just make the amount of food you're going to eat, and if, if like you know that's make leftovers that's okay leftovers are fantastic just like eat them <laughs> just just eat them okay make leftovers leftovers are a fantastic option for um for uh for meals you know like it, it you make one uh what's it called there's that like egg dish it's like an omelet and a but you bake it 
almost like a quiche, but not a quiche. I, I can never remember the name of it. It's going to bother me. Um, baked omelet quiche. Um, it's almost like a quiche, but it's not. Um, egg cooked in oven. What's it called? I can never remember what it's called. It is like the most annoying thing. Um, it's like a Ukrainian thing, I think. Omelet, oven, wait. Omelet, oven. Ah, uh, like I want to say tapioca. I know it's not that. Uh, it's not an omelet in the oven, but it's like almost called frittata. Ah, uh. yes. Okay. I don't know why I have so much trouble remembering. What, uh, what, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna go over to my personal Discord. Um, baked omelet for, you know, I'm gonna make a whole thing here for this, okay? Create channel. Um, things I forget. Baked omelet, frittata. It's not an omelet, um, but that's like, it's, it's a similar kind of idea. Um, so it's, uh, what I end up like thinking about when I'm trying to remember it, so I'll, I'll be able to remember it with that. It happens way more often than it should when I'm thinking about it, and I'm like, what is that thing? It's like a baked omelet, and then I Google it, and it takes forever to find it, but it's a frittata. So, you know, frittata is an amazing meal to make, and uh, really, really good for if you want to make, like, leftovers, because you can bake, you know, the whole thing, and uh, cook up, like, a whole you know, dish of, uh, of, of eggs, like a whole carton of eggs basically at the same time and uh, get like 12 lunches out of it. Just stick them in Ziploc bags, pull them out and like eat them. Like it's, it's very, very simple. It tastes good. You stick whatever leftovers you've got in this. If you've got some leftover chopped up, you know, spinach or kale or peppers or bacon or like whatever you got, just stick it in there and pull it out later uh, the week and, and have a little frittata. It's, uh, it's, it's good and reasonably healthy if you put in, like, you know, good toppings. If you're putting in, you know, a lot of bacon and stuff, maybe it's a little bit less good. But, um, like, it's, it's a reasonably healthy, very simple meal. And uh, it's easy to make a lot of leftovers for. And the leftovers themselves are, like, convenient and tasty. So it's like, it's like the ideal I'm making leftovers uh, meal for me personally. So making leftovers is, is fine. It's just, like eat them dude like I just I get so offended when people make leftovers and then throw them out I'm like just don't make the leftovers then like, if you didn't want them just don't make them like you can just scale down the recipe and just make less like it's okay you don't have to make the whole thing anyway the soup and the meat and all that is gonna get eaten it's it's fine I just um I'm gonna make a point of eating it because otherwise it is gonna get thrown out and that would really piss me off so anyway, moral of the story, I suppose, is like eat your food, dude. Don't don't think about the African kids. Just think about your wallet. You know, like it's it's just the uh, it's, it's it's more straightforward than a lot of people think to to make it. I think it's not about respecting your food. I think there is a, a semblance of that, as I've I've kind of like talked about. It. Like ultimately, like just paid for that, dude. Like. You you went to the grocery store and you you bought all these ingredients, like. You know, what's your receipt say about the, the price of this food that you're throwing in the garbage? You know, like, you're just going to go back to the store and buy it all again anyway. So just eat it. That's all there is to it, man. Your wallet will be a lot happier when you end up throwing less stuff out. There's a reason why, um, you know, grocery stores and stuff try so hard to keep their, uh, their loss down. Uh, or their shrink. Um, 
loss, I believe, is uh, is is stuff that's been stolen, and then Trink is just kind of the overall uh, stuff that's been lost. Confusing, yeah. I mean, there's a reason why they try to keep it down. It's because um, that's money. You know, like things are money. We live in a, in a capitalist world. Everything you own is is worth something. If you throw it out, you know, just think about how much money you're throwing out. Anyways, gonna do it for today. So thank you for watching. Like the video if you like. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.